India is a nation of agriculture. We don't have much industries in India. All the prosperity, all the brightness of Indian economy is due to the hard work, the sweating of the farmers in India. We know that most farmers are there from Punjab and Haryana. And in the freedom fighting too, we understand their great contribution. But we are very sad, even after weeks of strike, hunger strike, they are under the whole sun without shelter, fighting against the present government. The great values in the preamble is to be recognized by the mandated government as well as the people. I am very happy that in the yesterday's speech by the Honorable Indian President, he underlined the word, it is the responsibility of both the people and the mandated government to keep up all the values enshrined in the, in the preamble of Indian Constitution. So we request the government at Delhi to consider the woes, the pains, the submissions of the farmers to, and uphold the values of the Indian Constitution. We know that we are suffering from an unprecedented pandemic. We lost many lives and many people are still suffering from the pandemic. We are very happy that every Indian is joining hands to fight against the COVID pandemic. So on this juncture, I request the central government that the vaccination, the vaccine for the COVID pandemic support ready. So we request the government to go for a free vaccination of all Indians to get protected from the COVID pandemic. pandemic. We have added secularism to the 42nd Amendment of the Indian Constitution. It is our pride that we live together as a single nation. Though we have hundreds and thousands of different religions in India, we are a single nation. So we wish to live as we lived in the past. And India is to strike hard to keep up the oneness in future. So we celebrate the unity in diversity. And we believe that the beauty of India rests in the diversity. If we all become, if we all become in, in a single religion, in a single faith, we don't believe that India will be more beautiful. So let the shining of India in different religions exist in the future too. We are very sad to see thousands of people, the majority of Indians are still in poverty and illiteracy. We are educated, the teachers and the students of India, they have to take up this responsibility to spread the value of education and literacy. I don't want to prolong my words, but this is the rare chance to discuss such wonderful idea, the values we keep in the preamble of Indian institution, Indian constitution. So justice and equality not to be attractive words resting on the pages of constitution. We want to see all the people in India, all the citizens of India are treated very judiciously. But recently we saw a lot of cries and processions and cries in the streets of India crying for, asking for equality and justice. So I conclude after wishing every Indian that all the happiness of uh, the Republic Day, but I request all of you to recommit to the values of the Constitution. It is of right that many fundamental values are enshrining in the Constitution, but through our life, through our words, through our actions, we have to keep up the promise that India to be a simple nation and secularism and democracy to be there in the true spirit of India. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I have all the lungs better than the other and the best place to synchronize different language, culture, color, creed, and law. 
Now, we have immersed ourselves in the pearls of patriotic freedom. Here, we have the spirit of nationalism. I invite the music club members for the patriotic club.